Hey guys, welcome back. We are out in the gun room on an extremely hot, sweltering July day. I've got a Savage Axis heavier profile barreled in 6.5 Creedmoor. This is one rifle that I have been wanting to get my hands on for a while. No, it's nothing special, but if it shoots good, it is going to be an incredible value. This one here sports the 22 inch heavier profile barrel. This is not a sporter profile. I picked this up from Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore. Honestly, I'd never really heard of them until I started trying to source one of these rifles and they were the only ones that I found that had them in stock. Most of these that you see are going to be the ones that you see at Walmart with the camouflage stocks. Okay, This one is just a standard black stock, but they did not advertise this, so do not hold me to it. This is only a sample size of one, but I will put in a screenshot of the model number and UPC of this particular rifle. But this rifle came with a 5 8 24 threaded barrel as well. This was had for $360. Um, heck of a value, heck of a value. I'm really anxious to see how well it shoots. This is an Axis 2 model, so it does have the Accu trigger. It comes with this 4 to 12 Bushnell scope. Guys, they they are not much. I'm here to tell you. It's it's a means to let you shoot the rifle out of the box, but much more than that, it is not. I do not and absolutely despise the adjustments of these little scopes. These little black nubs here that you use to adjust your windage and elevation are absolutely horrible. Personally, I wish they would just not include the scope at all and take a few bucks off the rifle. But for those guys that need an optic out of the box, say you don't have an extra one, this does fit the bill for you all. So that is, that, that's a good thing. It just adds a little bit of value. Like I said, this one does have the 4 to 12 power. So, you know, it's, it's, it gets you going out of the box. The um, scope comes out of the box with the newer style magazine, so it has the spring-loaded clip there like that, which I am a fan of these newer style mags. They work exceptionally well. As I mentioned, this is a 22-inch heavier profile, and while I'm thinking of it, for those that might be interested, I believe Savage calls this their medium contour. Let's get a... Uh, I'm going to get a diameter with the caliper here. So at the muzzle, you're looking at about three quarters of an inch. So it's definitely a lot heavier than your standard sporter. Let's go ahead and we'll check. Chamber is clear. Let's go ahead and get a pull weight on this, providing I can find my trigger scale. Let's zero it out here and we'll see what we got, okay? Um, I will say, so that's a little less than two on that one. So that's not bad. Let's try it again one more time. Whenever I felt the trigger out of the box, it felt a little heavy. Yeah, a little less than three on that one as well. So not bad. Perhaps it's just uh, the feeling of it, I guess. But uh, bolt, smooth. Again, it's your standard axis. The stock isn't much, guys. It's a means to shoot the rifle. But uh, if this rifle shoots well, this could be a definite little project piece for a few little small uh, cost-effective upgrades. So I've got a few different loads. We're going to try out some 131 grain seller and bellet soft point. Haven't really shot much of that yet. Uh, we've got the 130 grain open tip match hybrid burger federal gold. Uh, my personal favorite in Creedmoor, this is going to be the 140 grain OTM match. And then, of course, we're going to try out the uh, Winchester 125 grain open tip, uh, just range ammo, it's target load. So it be interesting to see how well those fare, especially with this scope. I'm honestly not anticipating too much, but uh, for the price point, guys, if this thing shoots, I am going to be absolutely over the moon about it. But uh, let's get it back to the hide. We'll put it in the rest and get some lead down range, fellas. Okay, guys, we've got the uh, Axis 2 heavy barrel and 6.5 Creed here on the bench. We're going to shoot those uh, four loads that I mentioned there in the, in the gun room. We're going to do five shots apiece, get some groups here at 110, and just see what kind of precision we can get out of this thing. 
Uh, I shot a few rounds of the Winchester white box to get us a rough zero on paper. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to start off with uh, the 140 grain SIG. This is, as I mentioned before, probably my most favorite Creedmoor load so far. It has seemed to shoot good and consistent in a number of different guns. So we'll see if that holds true with the, the Axis two here as well. All right. First shots. Bolts really smooth. Gotta hand feed the last one. Hmm. All right, don't look too bad. Okay, so let's try some of this Winchester white box. This is the 60 round value pack, guys. This stuff here. You can get from, gosh, it's it's like $43 a box. I mean, I've shot a little bit of it in a few of the other Creedmoor rifles that I've had here at the Hyde. It, it is shot fine for what it is for the price. Again, this is a 125 grain load. I have noticed that it seems most rifles in Creedmoor favor the 140. But if you're just looking for something, you know, relatively cost effective, to just plink with this will this will ventilate paper and knock steel around just fine 110 this here guys get over how smooth this action is. I'm really, really impressed with that. I'm so used to shooting the Model 10s. Hey, it's that I've kind of forgotten how well these Axis rifles shoot. And feed this last one here. Send this last one home. The Winchester light box. Oh, doesn't look too bad considering. All right, now this is some 131 grain soft point from Seller and Bellet. Uh, this was a, uh, some new stuff that I had seen at my local shop, and I figured that it might be a good representation for deer hunters or other game hunters. It might be a usable load in that scenario. But I thought that 
131 grains, kind of a random weight for Creedmoor. I don't think I've seen anything else like that. So we'll see what, what this can do here as well. more see to feed this last one looks like that first shot might have gotten away from us fellas Looks at least respectable for a for a hunting load. Let's try five of the 130 grain OTM burger hybrid here. I think I've mentioned this before in the past. I have shot some of this in a few of the other rifles that I've had chambered in 6.5 Creed out here. Accuracy's been kind of spotty. I haven't really had any rifle that I would say shoots it just absolutely amazing. So we'll see if the if the axis here proves to be any different. And about the, about the same as it usually is in most of the rifles I've shot this through. You'll have a few really good shots, and then all of a sudden, there'll be one that just doesn't, just doesn't add up. Hand feed the last one here. And then we'll take a walk down and check our target, guys. All right, so I'm going to grab the camera. We'll get another quick close-up of the rifle, and then we'll take a stroll down and check out our target. Whew, man, it's hot. Okay, guys, here is... The Axis II heavy barrel, as they call it, in 6.5 Creed. Granted, this one here is a threaded barrel. It is 5.8-24, so definitely expect to see some suppressed shooting out of this guy. Overall, like I mentioned, shootability with that stock is fairly limited. I mean, it gives you the ability to shoot the rifle, but that's about it. It is really flexible, hollow stock. There is, of course, significant flex in the barreled action to the stock. The scope, as I mentioned, just to kind of give you guys a representation of what I was looking through, 
the overall scope picture itself, believe it or not, is actually pretty clear if I can get the camera to focus in on it. It's just, however, the, the thing that I have qualms about is the ability of adjusting the scope itself. Um, of course, it's not going to it's not going to focus guys but take it from me somebody that has shot a few of these clarity is okay but adjustment not so much let's take a walk down definitely interested to see what kind of precision we got out of this I think it's definitely going to be respectable again granted like I mentioned this rifle was 360 say 370 bucks and I believe it was free shipping if I'm not mistaken so heck of a value especially with that threaded barrel I mean to get a barrel threaded by your local Smith I mean anywhere from 50 to 75 bucks so take that into consideration the price of the rifle and do away with that that rifle will probably run you around $300 so not bad but the proof really meets the road when we start talking about what kind of accuracy we can see out of a given rifle. And I think it's okay. So let's see here. Okay, so there's our SIG. There's our SIG load. That's not bad. There's two shots right here. One here, one here. And, of course, I probably pulled that one. There's no... Uh, I'll have to go back and look at the target cam, but that's respectable. That's that's an MOA group. Uh, here, that's with our 125 grain Winchester. Not bad. I mean, two shots here, a couple here. This is the, uh, um, oh, that cellar and bellet. Uh, now, that's probably my fault. These other two, four over here, that's not too bad. That's definitely minute of deer, no question about that. And here's that Federal. Uh, I could have pulled that one. The four here, I will say, um, I have shot this in a number of rifles, and that's about representative of what I've seen out of a number of different rifles with that load. Overall, I think it's definitely got accuracy there. I'm really impressed with that. Again, we're talking about, what, a $360, $370 rifle? So anytime you can get that kind of accuracy, that kind of precision out of a sub $400 gun with factory ammo, mind you, I think it's a definite win. I do want to get it maybe a better scope. I think that's definitely going to help with uh, with our groups and definitely get some trigger time and a little more practice. I think it might be able to shrink them a little bit and get some suppressed shooting for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for a part two of this rifle. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. So don't forget to like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel, guys. And as always, shoot straight. Later.